Well, welcome, welcome, welcome to Wednesday night church service and also online Bible school. So we're going to jump right into the Word. In King James, it says, Especially unto them of the household of faith, or your faith family. <clears throat> well, first of all, you have to know what a faith family is. A faith family is someone that promotes faith. Okay? Hebrews 11.6, impossible to please God without faith. So you hear it. Romans 10.17, you hear faith. Are you hearing faith? the people that you're around, the places that you go, the groups that you're involved with. Are you hearing faith? You know, what is faith? Faith is the evidence of things not seen. Are you just talking five senses? You're just talking natural world and praying that it's going to change. <laughs> well, that's not faith. That's just praying out of your intellect, not praying what the Bible says to pray, the prayer of faith. So you want to involve yourself with people that are of faith. I've heard people say of like faith. No, no, not like faith, actual Bible faith. So, well, why would you do that? Because they, if, and they will separate themselves. See, if you, if you don't watch it, if you're not promoting faith, you're promoting something. And so, and they're promoting something. And I've, I've had people say, well, my groups that I go to, they know nothing about faith at all. There's, there's no faith involvement. It's just, you listen. It could just be a, you know, whatever group that is that you go to. Or they say it's faith because we read the Bible or it's faith because we go to this group or that group or this institution or that institution. Well, you got to remember that institutions are made, well, how would you say it in a nice way? An institution is made for you can, where you're locked up. Not in a good way. So they're only going to teach, they call it preaching, teach, preach uh, that group. They're only going to go with that group. Why? Because the way it's set up, is that leaders of that group, they have leaders over them. And if that group doesn't basically say what they want them to say, they might not say it like that, but it's like that, then they're really not the household of faith. Are they born again if they confess Jesus as your Lord? Yes. But most places stop right there. Then they just wait and they play leapfrog overall everything else of faith and just waiting for Jesus to come back and that's what they do they're talking about giving your life to Jesus and then they're talking about Jesus coming back which is good both of them but we're not talking about that we're not we're, we're, we're that's where you start is when you give your life to Jesus and some people that's where they start and stop and uh, but they don't realize there's more there's more. There's more of the things of God. Well, the more is in the household of faith. So not everybody is promoting faith. See? see, Some people never do see the difference, but we're working on it. We're changing a lot of that. That it could be that just a religious establishment, a religious organization. See? But we're not talking about that. We're talking about actual people, uh, especially to those that are in the household of faith or your faith family you could say it like that so and to see not every church is a faith church unfortunately you got to remember that they, they can only go as far as the understanding and revelation that they have if they have if they only have denominational doctrine then that's all they're going to ever teach they're going to be stuck right there with the denominational doctrine uh, not saying it's bad but even something good can become something bad if it's keeping you from a faith life. You see that? So it takes faith to receive Jesus. It takes faith 
to believe he's coming back again to pick us up, that's true. But everything in the middle, see, if they're just playing leapfrog frog, then that's not a good place, you know. So what do you what do you have to do? Well the the family of faith is different. The family of faith, they're promoting faith, they're speaking faith, everybody's saying the same thing, everybody's doing the same thing, everybody's flowing together. It's like this uh these videos here, well this would be your family of faith. But you I'm never gonna probably see all the people that this reaches until we get to heaven, you know, and then all the people that help support and give will we'll never be able to see all the people that that helps. But when we get to heaven, there's going to be people come up to you and say, thank you so much. And you'll be rewarded for that, not just in heaven, but also on earth. So that's a blessing, too, because you're, the blessing of God will increase on your life as you do what God tells you to do. So the family of faith. OK, so relationships are built with start out in faith you know and then they grow you start growing now it's, like, it's kind of like a pyramid you're over here you start out and then you start going up the more you do faith the closer you get the less you do faith the farther apart you get well that's the way the family of faith works now what if people grow in faith and they get up to about here and one of them keep growing and one of them don't well they're going to have a dispute they're going to have a dispute. Either the other person or persons are going to keep growing in faith or they're just going to get critical of this one up here. You know, so you have to watch that. See, if you're critical, that means that you're, you're actually under the attack of the enemy and under the influence of the enemy and may not realize it. You must be thinking it's you. Well, I don't need faith anymore. Well, I have faith. Why would I need to know more about faith? I knew a guy, and he had a, he was fixing to cut his leg off. And uh, we was all going over to healing class. It wasn't with us, it was with another group. He really, he started listening to these, and he was able to receive better. But we was going over to healing class, it's called healing school. The prayer and healing school was going to go over there. And he said, well, why do I need to go over there? I'm healed. Why do I need to go over there? I believe I'm healed. And so I explained to him, I said, well, faith cometh by hearing. If you ever get to where you think, well, I heard that before, you don't realize it, but you're actually opposed to what you're hearing <laughs> right now. And he's like, no, 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 no. I I've heard that before. I don't need it. I've heard that teaching. I've heard this. I've heard that. I said, but faith doesn't come by hurting it. Faith comes by hearing it, present tense, hearing it. And he's like, oh, I got it. So then so he changed. And you could tell because the other way it was affecting his attitude. He didn't have a good attitude. <laughs> and so he's, so I said, I said, when you see your attitudes changing or your wife sees your attitude changing towards faith, we should love faith. When I heard about faith, I like ah that's what pleases God and I learned I also learned that that you can hear it and 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 you never arrive you never say okay well I have enough faith no oh okay well then uh, you know no that's something you do all the time 24 hours a day seven days a week you know you're always thinking about uh, you're always thinking about something I know some people think their minds are on pause but they're not. Uh, your mind is thinking either the household of faith. Am I still in the household of faith? Well, yeah. How? By faith. <laughs> How'd you get in there? Through Jesus. How'd you stay in there? Just go over all the faith stuff in the New Testament. There's only three passages in the Old Testament. And uh, so, well, what will happen? You'll grow in faith. You'll be speaking to mountains and, and, and telling things to die. Uh, you know, cancers and diseases and things like that. Leave the body, cancer die. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord, it's done. I'm healed, set free, and delivered. They're healed, set free, and delivered. If you ever start looking at somebody and saying, you need to stop this, quit this, do that, and serve Jesus. If you start doing that, you're just a religious mindset. 
That's just a religious mindset. People don't realize that they can't change themselves. They can't. But when they invite Jesus in, see, he's the only one that can change a heart. So when they invite him in, what does he do? He lives in there now. God's in there. The Holy Spirit's in there. And they start rearranging furniture. Some stuff they don't need, they get rid of it. See? So how do they do that? Well, you have to cooperate with them when you hang out with them. When you go over to stay in the family of faith. So you start talking against faith, you're not in the family no more. You're supposed to be in the family. See? But if you start talking against, you're still, you still have, you're still kin folks, but you're not getting no benefit out of it. See? Why? Are you still part of the family of God? Yes. But are you the part of the family of faith? No. You're supposed to be. So what do you do? Well, you repent. See, uh, I've got a, I've got I've I've got good friends, and I've seen they get to a certain place. Oh, they believe Jesus is Lord. And they confess Him as Lord. They might have even gotten filled with the Holy Spirit. So what what is that? That's a level. And then uh, comes time to believe God for healing. They believe God got got healed. And uh, so well, what about? Uh, Prosperity. Oh, I don't believe in the prosperity message. What is that? They stopped. See? They're in the family, but they have not accessed what belongs to them being in the family. See that? So you want to make sure you stay in the family of faith. So how would you, you know, just like these videos or that says, well, I'm, I just listen to everything on the internet and do everything. Well, not everybody's promoting faith. Well, yeah, but they're promoting righteousness, they're promoting grace, or they're promoting love, or they're promoting whatever subject of revelation knowledge, or, or revelation, the book of Revelation, or different books and all that. And that's all great. But did you know that if you don't promote faith first, then all those are just subjects that are empty. You can't get them to work. It's just head knowledge. See? Head knowledge don't work. It's because you see, see, the Bible don't work by memorization. It works by revelation. And it's the revelation of faith, family of faith. That's Galatians 6.10. You read it for yourself. And um, it's, it's good because it does. There's a balance in all that because it tells you. It says, as we have therefore opportunity, and let us do good unto all men are all groups, especially unto them that are of the household of faith. See, we're of like faith. We are faith. Say it like that. We are the faith family. I remember one time, this girl, bless her heart, she was wanting to be a counselor at this place. And she said, well, I was going to that group, but all they talk about is faith. Well, she failed at that group too. See, why? Because nothing of the Bible can you get it to work without faith. There's no such thing as a relationship with God without developing in faith. There's no such thing. He's a faith God. You have to come with Him with faith. I mean, that's never going to change. You're not going to rewrite the Bible. So a lot of people, some, some people are just ignorant of, of faith or what the Bible teaches about faith because they don't know. They're, I mean, they're innocent and they've never been taught. But then some people, they've heard it and then they're like, oh yeah, I heard that. I don't need it no more. I'm good. That's not going to work. And they're going to come to God and with, with no faith, nothing, and they're going to wonder why things aren't working because you have to develop in faith to speak faith. See, some people are just trying to speak without developing in faith. See, they don't take the time to get involved. So you have to get involved. Well, how do you get involved on here? So some of these people are thousands and thousands of miles away. Well, people, they tell me on there, I go back and listen to all the videos. There are hundreds of them on there. All they're going to do is build your faith. But even after you listen to all the videos, you have to watch it because... Uh, the enemy will say, okay, well, you heard all them videos, so now you're good. No, you have to keep developing in faith. 
see? Uh, Hebrews, uh, Hebrews 11.6 is what it's impossible to please God without faith. So it's a continuization of faith. You have to fill up on faith, listen to faith, speak faith. And you don't just say the word faith, you actually say the scriptures. So stay in the household of faith and you'll be glad you did. Y'all have a good one. I'm glad you tuned in to Wednesday night church and also online Bible school. So you have a great one. Have a good one. If you want prayer today, leave a message down below and we'll get with you and pray with you. Have a great one.